this technique Tuesday, we're gonna continue with the bow staff. We're gonna take you guys through a reverse figure eight. Now this one is definitely more complicated than the forward figure eight, but with practice and determination, you will get it. So when we did the forward figure eight, we talked about thinking about rowing your boat forward. So with the backwards figure eight, we're gonna think about rowing the boat backwards. So if I concentrate on having my right hand do the rowing, I'm gonna take my right hand over to my left side, and I wanna think about paddling my boat backwards. And then to the right side, paddle backwards. Paddling backwards, paddling backwards. So my bow staff, the right hand is traveling upwards. And then you just smooth it out. And there you have your backwards figure eight. The next bow skill we're gonna cover with you is an uppercut. So really, you can think about taking the staff behind you, grabbing some sand, we're going to swing it upward into our opponent's face. For this one, my left hand is going to do a little sliding on the bow. My right hand is going to be doing the main uppercut motion. So I'm going to reach back, grab the stand. My left hand slides toward the end of the staff. And then I'm going to hook that arm up like an uppercut strike where you curl in my bicep here for an uppercut strike. So again, reach back and uppercut. Reach back and uppercut strike. This works great with the backwards figure eight. So I start my backwards figure eight, and as the bow comes to the right side, I work in my uppercut strike. So again, backwards figure eight, into the uppercut strike. Now here are some combos using the backwards figure eight and the uppercut. Thank you. 